Boxing Truth here. I wanted to talk a little bit about Shannon Briggs, who recently trashed Deontay Wilder and made fun of his shit technique, which is true. Besides the jab, Wilder was just not showing good technique with his punches. Very wild with a lot of his shots. Still has a lot of work to do. Still a work in progress, even though he has 37 fights in his career. And Shannon Briggs was just talking about that Wilder's getting too much easy work, too many hand-picked opponents, has had some of the weaker opponents in history of free network television for a, a defending heavyweight champion. And it's true, Wilder is a project. There's a reason why he's undefeated. 99% of his opponents have been hand-picked. He even took the path of least resistance going the WBC route, not even trying to enforce a mandatory against Vladimir Klitschko, who was champion at the time. By the time Wilder earned his mandatory status with WBC. Because his team knew what was going to happen. They didn't want that work of Vladimir Klitschko for Deontay Wilder. They didn't want to take that risk. They know too much about his weaknesses. They know about his chin and his lack of defensive abilities against those type of fighters who are going to be the same size and have good technique of their own. Wilder's been getting away by simply leaning back against the plotters, hand-picked opponents, guys with nothing left who are faded, or simply just come to lay down like Malik Scott. What's interesting, what Shannon Briggs said in his posts was that he understands why Wilder turned down a career-high payday of $2 million to fight Shannon Briggs. And that's according to, to Shannon Briggs, that Wilder turned it down. Because Briggs felt... Deontay Wilder don't want that work. Doesn't want to get embarrassed by a 44-year-old Shannon Briggs that could possibly chin and flatten him and ruin the Deontay Wilder Express. It just seems like Wilder's team just know too much about the weakness of Deontay Wilder. So they're going to milk it, milk it as long as they can. Keep fighting the, the, the least dangerous opponents for decent paydays. And then finally cash out in a fight against maybe... A Fury or a Deontay, I mean, a Fury or Anthony Joshua. But let me ask y'all, Wilder fanboys, a question. Wouldn't Shannon Briggs been the most interesting fight of Deontay Wilder's reign as heavyweight champion of the WBC? I know y'all shaking your head. I mean, Shannon Briggs would have been a more interesting, more intriguing opponent than a, an Ariola coming off shitty performances. Or a Duapa, a Frenchman, or a Spilka, or Eric Molina. All hand picked opponents. I mean, seriously, Briggs would have been way more dangerous than Ariola. It would have been a big fight in the, in the, on the East Coast around the New York City area. A lot of fans would have been into that fight. Yeah, it would have been a circus, it would have been a show. But. Wilder's team, according to Briggs, turned it down. They even tried to lowball Shannon Briggs, try to give him a, a low purse offer to see he would if he would turn down the fight. But according to Briggs, in interviews against, in interviews with with the media, he accepted the lowball offer that he received to fight Deontay Wilder. But hasn't happened. Has Wilder? Could have made it happen, could have made the fight happen, but he hasn't really shown much interest in fighting Shannon Briggs. Feels he's on the juice even. So, very good chance he'll never fight him. But it's not like the fight couldn't have happened. I mean, Briggs wasn't rated by the WBC when they were discussing that bout. But Heyman could have pulled some strings. He could have, you know, draw, draw a few bills to the WBC. Had the WBC, you know, give him a ranking within the top 15. It's been done plenty of times before. Not just with Heyman, but other promoters in the history of the sport. Strings could have been pulled for that fight to be made, but it is what it is. Shannon Briggs said, even for $2 million, Wilder's team turned it down. And as for Shannon Briggs, he's still waiting on confirmation of his next bout. He's already signed a contract to fight David Hay which is supposed to take place in either September or October frame, but there's been a holdup as David Hay has yet to sign his end of his agreement and may be going back on his word and promising 
a fight with Shannon Briggs. Shannon Briggs chased a fight with David Hay, seemed to have gotten it. David Hay agreed to fight him if he was if he was to fight on his undercard, Briggs, which he did. He won the fight. And Hay gave his word that the the fight would be next had he gone past that opponent successfully, which Shannon Briggs did. But there's some rumblings that the offer that Hay gave to Shannon Briggs is a little too low considering how much promotion Briggs will bring to the table for this fight. There are fans that are, that are interested in the fight, especially in the UK. But the thing is, David Hay has no network television. He has no TV money coming in. So simply, all of his proceeds, all of the revenue coming in for fights are from the gate. In which David Hay is overpricing, overpricing his tickets. And Hay is controlling the entire card. He's the, the owner of the show. He's promoting his own fights. So he dictates who fights on his undercard. He dictates how much the fighters get paid. And he overprices the tickets so he can he, he himself can still get, besides no TV money coming in, seven-figure paydays just from a gate. As David Hay is still has a large following. Still is able to sell a lot of tickets when he fights. And there's rumblings that the, the purse he offered to, to Briggs is a little too low. But there's also rumblings that Hay may be looking elsewhere, that he may be looking to fight someone else. Maybe maybe a Joseph Parker if he was to do that, you know. It is what it is. Parker is rated by the IBF for the number one contendership for Joshua's title. And it will be a big money fight for Hay and an opportunity to get in a position to get the fight he truly wants. A big money fight, domestic fight with Anthony Joshua. I mean, why risk it against a 44-year-old fighter who's still very strong in the first two rounds can still punch and is very seasoned has a lot of a lot of experience has fought in many eras of the heavyweight division why put that all on the line and risk it against this fighter and shannon briggs when he can fight a younger up-and-coming fighter doesn't have much experience and has shown flaws in his in his past few fights and, and joseph parker so maybe Hayes is thinking of maybe backing out on his word and going after another fight and, jo and Joseph Parker to perhaps position himself to get that big money fight that he truly craves against Anthony Joshua. But we'll see what happens with the situation. Shannon Briggs is feeling like David Hayes has no interest in fighting him, backing out on his word, not willing to take that risk when there's big paydays out there to be made. But we'll see if this fight goes down in, in September, October. But there's been a delay for whatever reason. And right now, it doesn't seem like that fight's going to happen. But we'll see what's next for Shannon Briggs. <laughs> but definitely won't be no Deontay Wilder as he's out for the rest of the, for the, rest of the year. And... Still won't be fighting any serious opponents anytime soon. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.